The Tunnel by Sarah Howden. Something bad happened. I don't like to think about it. Now it's just me and my mom in the quiet house. Mostly I sit in my room and look out the window. Sometimes mom comes in and hugs me tight. I don't always hug her back. People come to visit and everyone has questions. Tonight it's on Cheryl. She'll stare with me at me with her big eyes and ask, are you okay? I don't feel like talking. So I find my plastic shovel, choose a spot and start to dig down, down into the ground. It's dark down there, but I don't mind. It's crowded too with worms and beetles and moles and things I don't know the names of. They don't notice me. Behind me, I hear noises, distant noises from the house. But I just keep on digging. Then suddenly I surface. I turn around and there I am right in our backyard. Through the windows, I see mom and Aunt Cheryl. I see the nightlight glowing in my room. And then there's the moon between the telephone wires, a spotlight clear and certain. No one knows I'm out here, I tell the moon. I could just disappear. I turn back to the window. Inside, Mom and Aunt Cheryl are talking. I watch them like they're on TV. Mom turns in my direction. She can't see me, but her face looks close enough to touch. Almost like the moon. And something shifts inside me. It nudges me like a dog's nose. I could disappear forever, yes, but maybe not tonight. I turn around and start to crawl back the way I came. This time the worms know me, the beetles too. The moles don't care either way, they have their own work to do. The soil smells sweet and dark. It smells like plants and rotten vegetables. It smells like mud pies and old leaves and basements. I'll go home for now, I tell myself, but I can always come back. The soil turns to carpet and I tumble forward. My room seems strange and square after the tunnel, but I like it. It's dim and cozy, and it's mine. I cover up the hole and climb into bed. Knock, knock. The door opens and light shines in the crack. May I come in? Mom asks. Yes, I say. She sits down and gives me a hug. It's gentle and warm and strong. Tonight, I hug her back as hard as I can, harder. What's this? She asks, picking something from my hair. She holds it out, a crooked little twig. I take it in my fingers. It feels like a bone. I made a tunnel out of here, I say. And then I came back. Mom just nods. She thinks, she, or I think she knows I need a secret place. She might have secret places of her own. I think she knows we sometimes travel far away, alone, where we don't have to talk. You came back, she says, and her face is glowing in the soft light, just like the moon. The